A rivalry will be renewed and a champion will be crowned as Lafayette and Lehigh meet for the 149th time this Saturday at Goodman Stadium in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. The game will be free to watch online at PatriotLeague.tv. Hi everyone, I'm Melanie Pulowski and welcome to this Week 13 Patriot League Football Preview. The championship trophy will be on the sideline this weekend at Lehigh and an automatic bid to the FCS playoffs will be up for grabs. So we spoke with both teams to gear up for Saturday's big game. There is a different feel, obviously a little more excitement on both sides of the fence here. But, um, you know, this game, Jim, really uh, brings out the best in both football teams, I think. You know, I was remember in 2009 season, we were 3-7 and seven going into the game, and Lafayette was 8-2, and two, and, uh, you know, our kids found a way to win. Uh, I'm sure the Lafayette kids are hearing that story, you know, from where they're at now. Um, but, you know, the game is just about the rivalry. To be part of 149 years of tradition uh, is just really humbling. Uh, you know, it's Lafayette Lehigh and the most played rivalry in the country. I've had the honor and privilege of being involved in now what will be my 27th. But uh, most importantly, uh, you know, for us as a program, uh, it's really about our seniors. They've had a tough four years, have really gotten knocked down on the map and kept getting up, and that's what we talked about. And we're really approaching it as this is the next game. That's the resolve our group has had, and we're going through it the same way. You just want to get out there and play. You know, obviously you need to take the time to practice, to understand what they're going to bring, and the rhythm and the cadence of the preparation week to week is essential, you know. But, um, but you just really want to get out there and play that game. We really couldn't ask for a, a better game to be a part of. Not only is it, you know, the Lehigh Lafayette tradition, 149th meeting, but uh, it's for the Patriot League Championship, and, and ultimately it's at home. Uh, couldn't ask for a, f a funner stage to play in, and, and just I know I'm not the only one excited about this one. I think we need to go out there uh, believing and understanding and knowing in your heart of hearts that you can go out there and win this game, and knowing what's at stake is only the greatest motivator. The biggest thing you got to do is just stay focused and kind of stay on an even keel. We don't change anything that we do. We take the same approach, same schedule that we're on. There's a couple of events, obviously, at, at both schools that make it a little different week. But uh, the, the, the big, biggest problem is just keeping everybody uh, you know, down and controlled and focused for practice because it's about preparation. If you have a great week of preparation, you have a chance. If you don't have a good week of preparation, um, going to be tough. And this game is always a game of momentum. You've got to be able to ride the lows and the highs and keep battling to the end. Lehigh Lafayette week brings a lot of distractions. Really, it's just sticking together uh, and staying focused, coming out to practice every day and, and really putting all the you know outside problems away is a big key. And I think we've been doing a great job of that thus far. And, and I think we'll be ready for Saturday. Saturday, no doubt. Lehigh enters the game at 8-2 overall and 3-1 in the league, while Lafayette boasts a 4-6 overall mark and a 3-1 league record. Both teams have relied on their feature backs throughout the season, and Lehigh's Keith Sherman and Lafayette's Ross Sherman have put up similar numbers. They are separated by five rushing yards and they are tied in receiving yards. We were talking about that the other day in the office and then actually pulled up their statistics and they're very similar. I think they both run for about 920 yards. They both do multiple catches out of the backfield. Um, you know, so Keith has been a huge feather in our cap over these last couple of weeks. He's provided great leadership and, and obviously great performance and uh, we're certainly going to need that on Saturday. Good teams need to have big players who make big plays in big games. And Ross Sherman is one of those individuals. You know, he uh, manages to take uh, any, you know, virtually any play, even if the blocking is, is not done to a T, he's still able to make a play go based sheerly on his athleticism and ability to see holes and to shift and to make people miss. He's uh, had an outstanding year, and not just in rushing, but in scoring and, and all purpose yards as a returner. Uh, you know, he's just an outstanding young man, works extremely hard, and uh, fortunately for us, he's only a junior. Another similarity will be the freshman quarterbacks who have taken over for both teams. Lafayette has turned to freshman Drew Reed to lead the way, while Lehigh started freshman Nick Schafniski for the first time last week in a win at Colgate. Drew is remarkably composed as a quarterback. Um, I would argue that it's the most difficult position to play of any sport ever. You know, the complement of physical 
prowess and mental preparedness, or I guess I should say composure, is, um, is incredible, and it's a rare gift to find in an athlete. He's very steady, nothing shakes him. Uh, he's played in big games before. He played in the 6A program in front of usually that kind of crowd that we're gonna see, so uh, doesn't get nervous, doesn't get too emotional. He's very steady, and he learns from his mistakes, and he made his share of them last weekend, but the key for us as a team is we overcame a lot of things, both on offense and defense and special teams, and uh, certainly, I think, played our best football game. Our guy's pretty settled in now. I think this will probably be his, I want to say, fourth or fifth start uh, for Drew Reed up there, and he's done a he's done a real nice job. And, and I, I think what you see at both for both teams, their senior leaders have really rallied around the young kid. I know our guys have. You just watch how Lafayette's playing on offense right now, and it's apparent that they're, you know, rallying around Drew Reed. Uh, so that's good to see. That's what college football is all about. And uh, you know, we certainly. Uh, I think Nick's going to be a very good football player. He's done a nice job for us here in these first two games that he's played, and you know, hopefully, he can continue to play at a high level. Uh, Nick is just, you know, an incredible athlete. You know, I think he might. You know, I'm a receiver, and I, he's a quarterback. I think he might be faster than me. I don't know, uh, but really, he's just, you know, uh, he's a physical specimen. He's really confident in his abilities. Uh, when he's out there, he's played in big games, so the big stage doesn't really phase him. Overall, an incredible player, uh, incredible character, and just an incredible guy. Uh, it's a privilege. To play with them. Saturday afternoon's game will kick off at 12:30, and for all of the highlights and post-game interviews with the champions, tune in to Patriot League Network Saturday night. In other league action on Saturday, a pair of games will be on the Patriot League Network as Georgetown travels to Holy Cross and Fordham looks to bounce back from its first loss with a road contest at Colgate. Bucknell also will take the field in a non-league game at VMI. Log on to PatriotLeague.tv to watch all of the league games for free. And if you miss any of the action, you can catch the highlights on next week's Patriot League Roundup. For the Patriot League Network, I'm Melanie Plowski.